this was the console server you said? There's console servers there, these ones here. So that one, that one, that one there. That. So, so we've, got, we've got 16 port units in all each yeah. of the knots. Yeah. Sort of thing. Now, I understand that, as you mentioned, that it's all based on that the open source nut project. Is there an underlying operating system? Yes, so it's, got a, so it's, got Linux, it's got a Linux core underneath yeah. it. So it's got a UC Linux core underneath it, which is an embedded Linux. Yeah, yeah, it's sure. Got busy box. And, other bits. And some of the guys from Snapgear, previous company, they're, they're the principal drivers of UC Linux. Yeah. And they've been involved in companies, sort of our outside technical agents, keeping us on the track. UC yeah. Linux that you're using, are you, are you running any kind of real-time kernel for deterministic capabilities? Do you need that? We don't run real-time We don't run real -time kernels for that. We're, yeah. you know, we're, I mean, the maximum sort of board rates we're dealing with is 115k board and 48 ports. Oh, okay. So we don't really have any sub-microsecond sure. sort of style uh, thing stuff necessary. Now, with this particular uh, rack, what are you actually controlling? connected to. Oh, so this particular rack here, we're just connect this is more a sort of a demo rack, but we're yeah. sort of showing that we're connection to a, a Cisco um, 2500, I think it's a router. Uh, these are a couple of our KCS products, which are actually an in-rack, they're actually an x86 PC, that, so uh, you can plug in a screen and have yeah. local screen and web connectivity to um, other devices in your rack, every management yeah. network. So that's to say people going along with their PCs and plugging in rack sites. A lot of people don't want to yeah. do it. They just want to have a, a mobile screen and plug the screen in. Yeah. They don't have the usual issues with uh, version updates and things having a floating PC. Good. So that's the... So, so that's it. So that's our historic. That's that's the bulk of our business selling these sort of appliances. Yeah. Again, managing network gear. But so the newer products are more taking the same technology, yeah. same uh, different footprint. And that's what these sort of products are. So this is what we've got. This many. Oh, okay. Same things here. So these are these are now sort of edge devices. So that's for going in the, the wiring closet. Yeah. And we sell them in little NEMA enclosures that go out on the side of a pole and uh, um, out on a fishing crawl. We've sold a bunch of them in mobile applications where people are using them for. Yeah. So they've got cellular connectivity for going over the AT and T or Verizon network. Yeah. And then they connect to all the things I said. They've got uh, external I/O for doing. Uh, like uh, smoke detectors, water sure. detectors, those things, digital I.O. for driving lights, driving alarms. Yeah. And so, um, but it's more the, it it's really isn't right down the industrial real-time control market. That's not, we're not we're actually right down the M2M -M layer, yeah. where you're just trying to put an IP connectivity onto uh, a, a, a dumb device. That's not our space. We really want to, we're really one step up where someone's maybe got some power infrastructure, got some communication yeah. smart, we're managing everything that's in that, you know, that closet, that, that uh, Good. Closet. And then from the software point of view, how does it tie into to Nagios and what is VCMS? Okay, so, this, show? Okay, so VCMS, okay, so VCMS is a, it's a centralized host of appliance. It's either on a Linux KVM yep. or on a VMware. All the uh, remote console servers can dial home to this from behind a firewall yep. and provide a central point of access. So these, all these devices call home, they can be authenticated, and we can detect local ones on the subnet or remote ones that are calling home. Yeah. So from here we can retrieve all the hosts of all the network attached and serial devices and PDUs and EPS systems. And using the, the embedded Nagios we can map it, we can uh, grab little services. And we embedded a direct connect button that allows you to directly connect downstream to the attached yeah. devices. As